continuously, you know, our multiple defensive looks, try to confuse the all line as best as we can and get after it. Oh, he's a very strong runner, you know, low center of gravity, always keeps his leg moving and just has has really good vision, one of the best visions I've seen out of a running back, so since Justice, you know. <laughs> Does that make a difference for you guys seeing that you do see a lot of one of the best running backs in the country on a regular basis? Uh, yeah, I think it also it uh, helps us a lot just, you know, seeing that and being used to it, you know. Uh, I just, we just have to be ready to uh, stay in our gaps. We can't do really much peeking inside because uh, if you catch you peeking inside, he'll see it and bounce out on you. And uh, if there's a hole, he's going to find it. So you just got to reiterate staying on blocks and staying in your gap and not trying to make a play and do anything special. But uh, be disciplined and get some running like with that type of pace. Are you talking about justice or talking? Uh, I'm talking about both of them. Okay, okay. I'm talking about, uh, yeah. I'm talking sure about, yeah. About. They both have they both have really good vision, you know. So uh, justice is definitely more more explosive back. That's the only. But other than that, he's a tough. Uh, Montgomery's a tough runner. Have great vision. So we're gonna have to be prepared. From your perspective, what makes your defensive front so good at getting the quarterback? Uh, I think we just all take our shots, you know. Uh, the defense allows us a lot of versatility and a, a lot of guys that come free, uh, confuses the old line, so they never know who's coming. And uh, it can lead to a lot of confusion and busted uh, busted uh, assignments. So, now we take advantage of that as best we can. What's more exciting for you as a defensive line is the fact you can slow down a great running back and keep him under you know, 80 yards or something, or is he getting like four sacks in a game? Like, what's more exciting to you? Uh, it's definitely the W. So. <laughs> You know, it's always fun. We always want to stop the run as best as we can, but you know, at the end of the day, we're here to get to the quarterback, so how I do it. What about Mike? What do you see from Mike on your defensive line so far? He's got his chances out there. Oh yeah, he's, he's definitely taking advantage of all his chances. Uh, I feel like so far he's made a, uh, he's made, he set a good example, a good groundwork for his career here. So three sacks already, playing what? Uh, the game in that two and a half game, so he's definitely off to a good start. Has he learned a lot from you? Uh, so I wish I could take credit, but uh, he definitely has his own little move set on him. Just so he's long and he's strong. So you, I'm sure, going against Jelani some in practice. How much have you seen him improving? Man, I'm sure he's had to try to block you at some point. Oh so yeah. How much have you seen him improving that, that oh, part of his game? Oh yeah, he's improved a lot. You know, he couldn't block anything when he first came to tight end, and now he's one of the best blockers we have on the offense. Uh, definitely getting better. He's a strong. He's strong. So. It's just a matter of him getting his hands right. And once he learned how to do that, he's uh, he's, he's gotten a lot better in that aspect of it. That's all he really needed to do. Jordan, you guys are already at 24 sacks this season. You had 30 all of last year with pretty much the same guys. Is there any difference, or what, what would you kind of attribute that to? Uh, yeah, new defense, <laughs> you know. Uh, some fun defense, you know. Guys out there flying around, confusing all the line, and we're just really getting after it this year. We've seen out of Iowa State's offense.